Hey Capricorn, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your last week of July general love reading. Now keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that is watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. So for my Capricorn, Summer Rising and Venus individuals, when I was meditating over you all's energy, the song that I got was How Many Ways by Tony Braxton, okay? Now, Ms. Braxton happens to be a Libra, so you could be dealing with a Libra, Summer Rising and Venus individual. Also, this could be associated with someone that you met in Libra season of 2023, and of course, that will be September, October time frame, okay? So let's get into your energy let's get into your reading i want to look at the cards at the bottom of your clarifying deck right before we shuffle them at the bottom of the deck again i was the name of the song was count the ways and if it looks like if you see how he's like holding up a pinnacle like he's starting from one you have the three of pinnacles working building establishing something together and then at the back of the deck you have the fool card immediately for me this combination is like this person's a fool for you straight up they could be a gemini or a cancerian doesn't have to be um but it's just making me feel like this person sees your value. You see how he's holding up that pinnacle? Like, this person sees your value. Or you may be feeling like this about someone. You know you always flip the roles and put it where it applies, okay? So we're going to change the cards from the top to the bottom. We'll do the same with your clarifying deck. And then we're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which happens to be the devil. And then we'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. And then we'll get clarifiers, Okay. Currently, at the bottom of the deck, you have the Four of Cups. Not being excited or happy or enthused with what it is that you're being offered. For some of you on an emotional level, you may have felt like this person wasn't very good with communicating how they feel about you. And so this person may just express, when they actually do express how they feel about you, it's like it's overflowing. Like they're just pouring out all their emotions because it looks like this hand is getting ready to pour out that water, right? Or whatever's in that cup. So let's go ahead and get our shuffle on. Yeah, to see, this person has big feelings for you. Going from this small cup here to this huge cup. I feel like you guys are adored. This person sees you in a way that you don't even know they see you. Like, the way they look at you is like none other. Like, they see you as their king or their queen, okay? And that's your energy. I know this is predominantly associated with Taurus, but because it's not a major arcana, it can apply to any of the earth signs. Okay, so towards Virgo Capricorn, of course, this is a Capricorn reading. So I feel like this person puts you on a pedestal. <laughs> it's, every time I part, we keep getting this card. I'm going to stop right here. This person definitely has big feelings for you. They see you as their one true person. I know that sounds very fairytale-ish, but that's what I'm hearing. Okay, they see you as their king or queen. Second king or queen here, I'm telling you. So let's go ahead and go through the deck. We want, look at that, king and a queen. That's a pair. This person holds you at a very high esteem. Somebody could definitely have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and then Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio placements in their chart. But overall, I'm telling you, like, this person sees you as valuable to them. If you guys aren't married, I definitely feel like there's marriage in the books for y'all. There's going to be an offer because this is a huge, huge offer. Aces are something brand new coming in. It's a huge offer. Um, and if you are completely single, for a lot of you all, you may meet somebody in Libra season. Again, a September, October time frame. And I say that because you do have, I said the singer who sings that song, Tony Braxton, she's a Libra. And then you do have a female energy here that's a Libra. So you can meet somebody in Libra season. And for those of you, if you're already in a relationship, this person can propose to you in Libra season. I feel like they're trying to work out their finances right now before they do something major, like a proposal and things like that. So again, we want the devil and the card that comes before. There you go. I'm telling you, this person adores you. Look at that right in front of you. Then you have three of cups. This is celebrations, excitement, unions, coming together, having a good time, kicking up your heels. Because there's going to be some type of engagement for a lot of you all. Two of cups, okay? This is a soulmate union. This is a coming together, equal give and take. There's a rainbow going into both of these cups. And you see how that fish is going towards her? Fish is considered something that's fruitful, something that's abundant, something that's sustaining. This person is going to um, offer a relationship that is sustaining long term, not something short lived, not a situation ship, a friend with benefits. This person is going to ask for your hand in marriage. I'm telling you, did we not stop at the King of Cups and then you have the Queen of Cups? That's a pair. So I definitely feel like this person is going to want long term commitment. Um, and if you're already married to this person, I feel like you guys are going to be celebrating some type of anniversary, like a milestone anniversary or something. 
you're surrounded by water so you definitely could be dealing with someone who is a water sign can't spice scorpio or something significant can be coming up in a water sign season for you the next water sign season of this year is scorpio and it's october november time frame okay bottom of the deck you have the ten of wands carrying a heavy load carrying a heavy burden I feel like also if you felt like this person hasn't been showing you love or thing, anything like that, is they may have a lot going on. And that's not no excuse. You know, there's no excuse for someone not to share how they feel about you or express or make you feel worthy. But I feel like this person has been going through some heavy stuff, possibly with their finances and they're just not telling you about it. Like even if you're married, you know how people, you know, work their finances together. But on a personal level, you have your account with you and your person but then on another level, you have your own personal finances in their own personal world. They may be, you know, working on some things with their finances or they have personal goals that they're not hitting. And they're kind of just keeping it to themselves because he's carrying all of this alone. He or she. So that could be the case also. Because I do feel like there, there's a disconnect with, with people who are in relationships or it just feels like the bond isn't as strong. Okay. Part the deck, page of cups, and they could be a little emotionally immature. Pages are young, youthful. They still got grown, expanding to do. They could be emotionally immature, and they're not sharing how they feel. For a lot of you guys, you're definitely dealing with a water sign. You have the three of cups, two of cups, page of cups, and then we stop right here at the king of cups, and then you also have the queen of cups. For a lot of you guys, this person definitely is, you know, a water sign, a strong water sign placements in their chart. So let's get a clarifier for the three of cups. There you go in reverse. So you guys could be going through something that you're not telling your partner, okay? And also, you could have ended or a situation or a relationship because this person did not value you or you're thinking about it. So you may feel like, okay, I'm just going to let this person go. Could be a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. Again, keep in mind, this is a general reading, so this can apply for many people. So various parts of the message may not apply to you, but then other parts may bottom of the deck you have the king of swords so yeah for some of you guys there could be an ending you know because this person um or it already ended because this person didn't know how to communicate with you because swords communication and mental and then for others even if there wasn't an ending and you're still with this person it could just be that this person's having a crap time communicating with you like they don't share or express how they feel they can come off as cold and aloof because that's typically the energy that you get with the king of swords okay Let's get a clarify for the three of cups. Clarify for the three of cups for Capricorn, Sun, Rising, and Wow. We started off at the very beginning of your reading in this deck with the three of pentacles. And I and landed right here, so I can't even move it. I'm asking for this card, but it doesn't matter. You got a lot of three stuff here also. Somebody could have a three in their birthday, the third, 13th, 23rd, 30th, or the 31st. Someone also could be a life path or a personal year number three as well. I like this combination. Because the Two of Cups, that's a union. And then Three of Pentacles is working, building, establishing something together. And if you see right here, they have a contract. Somebody's going to get engaged. I said this. Somebody's going to get engaged. And if you're married, you could be renewing your vows. Or doing something that you feel spiritually or emotionally. Because you got cups here. Emotionally inclined to solidify your marriage. Or I just keep like a vow renewal for somebody. And then also somebody's getting engaged. I'm, I'm getting that very strong. Bottom of the deck, you got the Magician, Gemini, Virgo, in reverse. The Magician is a master manifester. They can manipulate the elements to however they want it to be. In reverse, it's like this person, I'm going to say again, this person has not been able to manifest things that they want, so they've been going through some difficulties, and that may be the reason why they've been pulling back or just kind of aloof or distant lately. I'm getting that. Let's get a clarifying for your Three of Cups. Damn, that flew out. Okay. Yeah, and they're not telling you about it. Seven of Swords, Liar, Cheater, Manipulator, Sneak, Conniver, right? But in reverse, you're going to find out. So I feel like for a lot of you all, you're going to find out about why this person, like on the outside, they're celebrating, having a good time, like everything's fine. But behind the scenes, there's something going on that they're not telling you about. And this is why they're being distant and cold. You guys know I, I really don't want to do the whole third party thing because I know that just fries you guys' brain cells. <laughs> I see your comments. It pisses you guys off pretty bad. But you can't lie right here, okay? I always say when you have characters with the mask and the face shield, that, that's some type of hiding. And then they get the seven of swords with it. Mm -mm, that's a nasty combination. So, you know, again, there could be multiple scenarios here. For some of you all, there's you're going to the next level. There's going to be engagements, marriages. And then for others, you may have cut this person off because you found out or you're going to find out. Because upright, he's getting away with it. In reverse, he's not. You're going to find out about some type of third-party situation because we did have quite a few kings and queens, right? You had the King of Cups, uh, King of Swords, 
you know, it's, it's given very much for somebody out there. Like, a, a, what do you call it? Persnippity perception of a situation. Because the, na the name of the song is How Many Ways. And it's, uh, let me count the ways, how many ways I love you and things like that. And it's like, well, if you love me so much, how are you entertaining all of this? Like, this person's like, oh, I love you this much. But then behind your back, there's some third party stuff going on. And that's for some people, okay? We won't hang on to that energy because the most profound energy that I'm picking up is that for a lot of you all, this person cares immensely. It just seems like they have some stuff going on in their life that is keeping them from being affectionate, keeping them from, you know, expressing how they, how much they value you, things like that. But I, I definitely feel like the love runs deep here. And I'm definitely seeing like a vow renewal. Like say for instance, even if you had just had three years in your marriage, you know, because you keep getting at three. You got three of cups here, three of pentacles. You know how, like, people have milestone, you know, ceremonies like five year, 10 year, 15 year, 20 year. Even if you're at year three, some of you, that, that three years may have been hard as hell. And so you're like, look, let's renew our vows. Let's, let's redo this thing all over again and have a new start, a fresh start. Some of you all may have been thinking about that. And if you have, this is your sign to do it. Okay. So Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the visuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe, click that notification button, and until next time, take care and be well. Bye.